It is a glorious day to build some muscle. I am Ryan Masters of Spartan Doctor, a certified strength and conditioning specialist here to help you build a ripped masculine physique and live a fully realized life. Today we're going to talk about protein and what that means to you as far as muscle building. But before we get into that, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. That way these training videos come right to you as soon as they're released and like the video if you find it helpful. To build muscle, your body must be in what's called a positive nitrogen balance. That means you have enough protein for it to take and use to repair the damaged muscle because when you're working out you damage and tear down your muscle and the protein is what your body uses to rebuild those muscles bigger and stronger. Now not all protein is created equal in the sense that you know, soy protein is not going to be as effective for building muscle as you know, eggs or lean meat. Uh, and that's because the proteins are made up of different building blocks, which are called amino acids. And it's basically just the way the proteins are laid out. And, and to keep it real simple, uh, the better proteins for building muscle, when your body, when you eat them and your body sees them, it's like, oh great, I've got all the tools here I need to, to build muscle. But when you, when you eat something like soy protein or proteins that are incomplete, your body opens it up and it's like, oh man, I'm missing half the stuff I need here to build muscle. So then it's going to go run around and find the other pieces and put them together and then try and build muscle from there. So in the interest of this channel, we're always looking to find what's the fastest, most effective way to do something. So we want to focus on the best sources of protein. Now, before we get into those, let's talk about you know, how much protein should you have when you are working out and training. And you want to start with shoot for one gram of protein per pound of body weight or one gram, 2.2 grams of protein per kilo, depending on where you are. Um, that's going to give you a good baseline. That's per day. That's going to give you a good baseline. You want to eat it throughout the day. Not three big meals, but actually about five to six smaller meals so that your body and metabolism is continually running and you always have a fresh supply of protein going into your blood and into your body to build more muscle. So not only is protein the building block for muscle, but also has some other benefits as well. First of all, it's what's called a thermogenic. That means it helps raises your metabolism to burn more fat. So now you're eating, you're eating protein, you're building muscle and burning fat at the same time. Again, saving us time, which is exactly what we want here. But right, so that's just a quick overview of protein. Again, when you're looking to change your physique, protein is going to be a very important source of food intake for you. So start off with some of those tips as far as shoot for one gram per pound of body weight a day or 2.2 grams per kilo of body weight per day and make sure you're spreading that out throughout the day and not eating it all in one like giant meal. All right, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and like this video so I know to make more.